Get this shit cracking, man. This first on the slate, man. People, wait. And for the people who don't know, man, roll up or hold up, you know, it's pretty simple. Roll up if it's something you don't want to hear. Hold up if it's something we got to chop it up on. But we're going to go into it from here. The San Francisco 49ers, they cut the check for motherfucking Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, roll up. We knew, that, we knew that was happening. <laughs> roll the fuck up. We all, come on, man. Yo, yo, real shit. We was on some psychic shit the whole NFL season about that shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, on, we, 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 we knew that was coming, but yeah. damn, boy. They all they needed was seven. <laughs> all they needed was seven games, and they was like, yo, we gotta get this shit cracking. Like this shit. guy is the future. <laughs> you feel me? Like he's the f- I, wait, and you know what? We we're only laughing because we we feel like he thread the line. Because if yeah. he was the real deal, like Tom Brady, we'd be like, no, nah, they they you, you feel me? They 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 got away with murder. But Bex. you feel me? <laughs> you know Until what? we see him he might pull be it though. Off, he might be though. Seven uh, games undefeated, oh, no man. interceptions. Well, oh, two man. interceptions. Jones, and you're not known games? for drinking the Kool Aid on the first cup, but hey, bro, if you with it, you with it, bro. Hey, I, I, listen, I, hey. it's not even that I'm drinking the Kool Aid. You know what, Jimmy? Had like we said already, Jimmy Garoppolo had the best tutor and mentor in in, in, in Patriot Land. So for him to go, fuck with him. Yeah, they didn't want to fuck with him. That's cool. But now he gonna make sure that they understand. Oh, you fucked up by not fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? He played seven games. He threw two interceptions out of them seven games, and he went out of them six games that was left. Six games, two interceptions, and he won all six games. That's, that's cool. Tom, that's Tom Brady S. Now, for them to cut that big ass check is kind of stupid because he might not do the same thing. But like, he might go out there and drink. shit the bed like Brock Osweiler. But continue. No, I, I, I don't think he's going to shit the bed. That's, that's one thing I don't think he's going to do. I don't think he's going to shit the bed, but I don't think he's going to be as good because people know now, oh, well, he's their quarterback. We're going to fuck him up. That nigga can take right. donkey shits on the That's bed, what it bro. is. Like it's, it's it's like Brock Osweiler. He's like, all right, well, I'm getting paid money now, so I'm going. Nah, we going. You you suck. Get your ass out. He gonna do a Ryan. <laughs> he gonna do a Ryan Fitzpatrick. I'm gonna get right, paid right. all this money and just yeah, shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just steal money. <laughs> That's it. I'm, I'm just, just stealing money. money. Just stealing, just stealing money. Fuck it. Robbing I'm the bank, money. baby. That's what feel me. That's the way. The easiest way to rob the bank. <laughs> oh, segue, segue subject. Oh. Kirk Cousins, big oh. free agent. Where is he going? No I'm going to keep it 100. Wait, wait. The Jets is talking about it, but I, I can hit the roll up on that because the Jets, is, the Jets is desperate and Kirk Cousins. They're not is, getting him, though. They don't got the money. The tail you know where he's going? You know where he's going? He's going Bronco land. I guarantee it. John Elway ain't beat. John Elway ain't about to have no more bums. He got Nick Paxton Lynch. Up. He got. Oh, That's a double. Roll. He got. <laughs> Next. 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 We gotta see who he got. They want to understand why I say he got one of more bombs. Like, he got three bombs. He got three bombs. He don't got one bomb in Brock Osweiler. He got three fucking bombs. Paxton Damn. Lynch. He got Walter, bum, 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 uh, bum, Diamond bum. Simeon. Yeah, he, <laughs> seen it. yeah he's, he's shitting the bed hard right he now. Bum, bum, exactly. Bum. He got three bums. Like, he got three motherfuckers that's not taking him nowhere. He's going to say uh, he go all in. Get rid of them motherfuckers and go all in on, on Kirk Cousins. I guarantee you. Well, like all types of turn with him, bro. I'm just saying. But, but check this <laughs> shit out, though. 
We got next on roll up a hole up. We got Jacob Coleman. Mom walks off after his decision to his school that he decides hold to up. go to. Yeah, hold yeah, up that on one, that one. You that know, one I wanted to I smack wanted the shit out of his mother, I knew, yo. I knew this was gonna come up. Yeah, that I wanted to so smack the shit out of his mother, bro. Real talk. Wait, like, mom, money mom, you don't do that, ma. Ma, you don't do that. Yeah, man. Ma, this is my moment, bro. Wait, hold up, ma. This was... is my moment. <laughs> Real talk. Uh, Wait, hold ma, up. this is my moment. He got my, game my bad, Jones. My bad, Jones. Bro. But the shit is, we gotta let this shit resonate. Ma, this is my moment. <laughs> you I was up. Shit. Like I was so disappointed. When I, I did I this. Shit, bro. I'm like, oh my god, like. No bullshit, and I know like he probably cried at the end of that shit. He probably cried backstage, like after the cameras went off and shit, because that's some hurt shit that your mom's walk out on your decision like that. It's fucked up, and he didn't want to name his mom. You feel what I'm saying? So he he paid respect by not even naming her. Like oh, oh I don't even know. like he ain't tell the situation as to what happened. Like oh I don't know why she left. Like he knew why she left, but he didn't want to put his mom out there. So but, I respect him wait. on that. Oh no no, I was just gonna say in hindsight that nigga should have went to Bama. Continue. <laughs> he, he probably should have went to Bama. Don't get me wrong. He probably should have went to Bama. I, probably wait, went there. I don't blame his mom. The Gators ain't go. The Gators ain't going to no national championship. But Bama doesn't. Well, what? What sport? He playing football. He playing football. Football, my nigga. He football. Nah, you know I can't say that. You playing football, well, the Gators. Yeah, you know, like, he didn't but even he, go to the U. Right, I could have been like, yo, all right, if you went to the U, okay, I could see. The, you know, turnover chains. Nah, he went to the, the Gators. Nah, bowl of a piss. Oh, yeah. how, yo, how, yo, how his mom got up and just walked off. She walked off like, you fuck, nigga. My nigga, I would have probably did the same, <laughs> same <laughs> shit. She I'm not even, I'm not she even said, trying to be funny. This motherfucker. My, I would have had that some. I would have that talk with my son like listen bro the Gators ain't winning no national championships the Gators ain't even, they don't even get national coverage alright you trying to go pro you trying to get that billion dollar check you feel me <laughs> let's not fuck this up you work too hard to fuck this up you feel me like, you go she into the motherfucking she gave that walk off like roll tide yo, she, roll yo, son, she, she got up she, yo, she got up she walked, she walked up like I tried and I tried My and nigga. this dumb Little nigga just don't listen. <laughs> this nigga never listen. He ain't listen since the just fourth like grade. His, just like his father. You feel just like your damn dumb ass daddy. Just like, just like daddy. your dumb ass daddy. <laughs> just like your you dumb ass daddy. That's why I ain't with him now. And now, and now, oh, when the college shit. football season starts, oh, and the fucking Gators go six for eight and have some type of wild record and go four for fucking eleven in the conference, his mama will be like, "I told your dumbass, you not even on Todd McFay's top board right now. You just fucked your whole draft stock up." No, you listen, listen, listen. Wait, wait. What they say about college is is completely false. The, the false advertising. You could be on a bad team but have great fucking, you know, scouting reports. So, you know, it, it, it's not you, likely, you, 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 of You're course. right, but you could, you, you, you're you not going to go to a national championship on a bad team. Yeah, you ain't, you're, you're, you're one not, thing we not. could tell you you're, you're not, not going to do. You're definitely not seeing a good bowl. I'll just say that. You, you're, you're not, you're not going to a bowl game. You're not going uh, to a national championship. Nah. It, but you shit. can definitely have good draft stock <laughs> and, and, and good draft value. Like, trust the belief. You if you win a national championship, like, trust the belief. Know I mean? you know, the team he just went on, the, the Gator, the, he just went on the Gators, and he just made it ten times harder for him to be seen. That's all it is, bro. That's yeah, real. He, he lost out on a lot of fucking publicity. Wait, 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 wait. And like, and like I said, the, the, not the you. You went to the Gators, bro. not the you. Like you, 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 you went to you, the blue and you, you orange, bro. No, you said no to the Miami <laughs> beaches and the turnover chains to go to the so, fucking swamps. Yeah, oh, no. bro. Listen, man. Yeah, your ass ain't counseling. He's a Tim Tebow your follower. He's a Tim Tebow follower. Okay? Gainesville He's ass motherfucker. Tim Tebow follower. Wait, Urban Myers ain't there follower. no more. Urban Myers ain't been there for years. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck wrong with this nigga? That's fucked up. Yeah, you know what I mean? The fuck wrong with Joe's. Joe's, we need you to, 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 to clear out with that shit right there. Oh, shit. Listen, yeah, but, listen, man. That's man, his man, choice. They... I, can't, I can't even get mad at him. That's his choice. At the end of the day, he a grown ass man. He chose to go to the swamps over the Miami beaches. He chose to I see know. bitches in fucking, uh, 
What's them shits? Nah, and this jump, nigga wanted to and, hunt and fucking. Suits. This nigga chose to <laughs> fucking go go with rednecks and gators instead of fucking <laughs> Miami <laughs> beaches and thongs. He want, he want that boy need nah, counseling. Nah, nah, nah. Not red, I don't not blame his gators. mom. Wait, wait, not check this shit gators. though. He gets swamp boots. He gets swamp boots and rednecks. That's what he gets. Swamp boots, rednecks, and some country and talking with some cousins. gators. And yeah, kissing cousins. There you go. And kissing cousins. Miami beach. This nigga, this nigga, wild, bro. I don't even blame his mom. Yo, Jones, you, Jones, you need to mute that, baby. Oh yeah, this shit is bad. Oh my god, fuck. I need to learn how to mute mics, man. I, I swear, I'm gonna learn that. We wanted to switch platforms just so I could do that. (laughs) But next, next on the roll up a hole up, the Philadelphia Eagles. They finally win, and they have themselves a little parade. And in the midst of this parade. They got fans eating fucking horse shit. Yo, you seen that? Hold the fuck up, son. I actually know my nigga, because I, I, I actually plan on eating shit throughout the day, so I actually skipped that. But actually hearing... <laughs> <laughs> but all I need is a thorough write-up and a thumbnail to get the point across. Yeah, I'm good. I don't need to see niggas eating horse shit. Yo, so this shit was, now, this shit was this, terrible. I, I, talk, I, wait, I, talked about I don't this. need to see niggas eating celebratory horse shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I, I've talked about this That's because I actually, I was there for about That's an hour. That's actually a loss. That's actually I was hell. actually, That's yeah, actually I was, That's I was hell. actually there for an hour, though. I actually made it there safely. Hold up. I had made to leave it out earlier shit in the morning. You was eating shit, to too? Jones is no, eating I wasn't shit. Eating shit. Jones, oh, okay. come on, Jones. You, are, come you on, better Jones. not be Don't out there by a horse's rear. No, no. Come you on, Jones. Be in I, 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 knew, I knew that we was going to pot about this, and I wanted to have so much to talk about. I couldn't even stay that long because I seen people eating shit. Now, they know how to party. Don't get me wrong. They party wild. They really do. They destroy their fucking city. They stupid. They celebrate <laughs> the wrong fucking way. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not... All right, you won a championship, and I was like, all right, let me see how this is going to be because my man's went out there and shit, you feel me? Like, he's an Eagles fan, diehard Eagles fan, no matter good, bad, whatever. They suck. He's he, he ride with the Eagles. So I went out there with him. Yeah, they won. All right, cool. I'm going to go with you and shit. This nigga started acting like he was one, one of the Philadelphia niggas. Like, they destroying shit. They sitting there, they fucking up street signs. They fucking oh, trying to take down been- street poles. They oh, on, they on top of like, totally like, different, huh? <laughs> yo, like they on well, they top of the street, niggas. like, bro. When I say they, the savagery was just like at an all time high. They was hey, on dude. the fucking traffic light, jumping on the traffic lights, my nigga, like what, jumping on the traffic light, trying to break the shit down. One of them, bro, somebody fell down. I'm him? like, come on, you no, no, him, I, yes, it took them half a century to win a Super Bowl. No, 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 no. I don't give a fuck how long it took you to win a Super Bowl. You do not destroy the city that you're bringing a Super Bowl championship to. That's yeah, the that's stupidity it. part. You wait, know what I'm saying? Wait, like, wait, celebration wait, wait, the shit is all that's great. That's crazy, though. That's how they get down in Philly, though. Yes, how... yes it is. Well, wait. Yes, if, is. if you ain't fucking shit up in Philly, that ain't a good time. Like, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Think, wait, think about this. They had to grease the poles prior to the fucking engagement. <laughs> Wait, they did. Nigga, they, they really did. Too. They already knew what shit was hitting for out there. Oh, like, you feel man. me? Out, out here in New York and shit, you ain't greasing fucking poles. Niggas, niggas are still climbing them and shit, but you know the level of crazy is a little bit different out here, man. man, sorry, man. No, when I say they had extra street lights, traffic lights, they had all that shit like already on deck, bro. They, they really did. They knew they knew what it was, son. Like they had all Dude, that. I'm like, yo, like half I understand a century, the, bro. I understand the celebration. I'm happy for Philly just as well because you know what? I they didn't might, want the Patriots to win. Son, they but, might not see another Super Bowl in another half a century. Yeah, but, that's, that's, that, that, that that might be that might be true. <laughs> and you know what? I think that is hundred percent true because I don't even got them going back to the NFC championship next year. They're but not. That's They're another not. subject. Um yeah. I understand the celebration. But it's too much. Like the destruction that you're causing to your city, you cause your city damage. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then you make it wrong when other people do the same shit. Like it, it's kind of like a social a social thing when it when it came to me when I came there. I'm like, yo, like y'all, 
y'all do all this. Y'all destroy this motherfucking shit. Y'all destroy everything and everything. And then when other people destroy y'all shit, y'all get mad. But now y'all destroying y'all own shit. Y'all ain't gonna be mad either. Like what the it's fuck? Y'all no, destroy everything. Because like, no, you know why? Shit, y'all yeah, exactly. <laughs> they say we can destroy our shit, but nobody else can't because it took us fifty two years to win a Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Them niggas are funny, right? man. They they just work different, bro. I ain't different. destroy your shit. I am definitely not destroying your shit that I worked hard to build. Mook ain't even different over here, bro. You feel what me? You... <laughs> that that but, shit, uh, oh my God. But look, uh, we, we, we going to flip to this, though. Josh McDaniels of the new, what's this, the new Patriots? The fucking the New, Ling, new England Patriots? Damn, I just had a brain fry right there. But yeah, he just faked out the motherfucking Indianapolis Colts. He is not coming to be their head coach, and he's gonna stay with the fucking um, the New Orleans, uh, the New England fucking um Patriots. Now check this though, this is actually something I wanted to touch on because people is mad that they faked them out, you know, because people already, you know, a lot of people. Robert Kraft I, said he was taking away his club membership if he go to Indianapolis. I guarantee. It. My nigga, <laughs> like, I, I, wait, I saw said, something whoa, deeper whoa, than whoa, that. Said, I saw something <laughs> even deeper than that. I think Andrew Luck fucked up. Like, hold up. I just came from coaching a quality fucking quarterback. You're not giving me fucking rag bones to deal with right now, bro. This nigga better be A1 fucking day one or we, this shit ain't going to work. You feel me? Niggas Damn. ain't trying to risk it. Think about it. He, he goes there and go three Real for 13. Shit, that hurts your fucking coaching stock terribly. Yeah, it does. Terribly. Yeah, it definitely does. You do not want to go three for 13. I'm telling you that right now. And people might fucking turn the blind eye. Ah, uh, you know, this happened and this happened. But nah, bro. You don't want it. In all reality, it's on the coach. It's all reality. Yeah. I, 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 I understand it. Like I said, I, I wasn't mad at him when he did the shit. Like, all right, cool. You said you wanted to go there. But then when you look at the situation you coming into, he was one of, he made the best coaching decision for himself. Like, and that's what most coaches should do. Like, fuck all the money that they're gonna will, they're willing to pay you. You got to look at the situation for yourself. Like, in the end, all right, you're only an offensive coordinator. Yeah, but you can't pay some luxury money to be an offensive coordinator. Now, you go on, you win two championships, three championships, or another championship on top of what you just lost. All right, you lost the championship to the Eagles. You go back and win the championship, your draft stop goes up. So you can get more money because the CBA or whatever that shit is, the collective bargaining agreement going to go up for coaching. All, you're getting paid more money. Mm-hmm. True. I think if more True. coaches thought like True. Josh McDaniels, we wouldn't have so many blowout coaches. It was, like teams wouldn't chance for coaches so much. You know what I'm saying? Like the Browns had over 16, 17 coaches. They wouldn't have had 16, 17 coaches if the coaches were like Josh Dane, Josh McDaniels. If they'd have been like, nice. you know what? Your situation is bad. Your management is bad, apparently. You can't even keep a quarterback. Nah, I, I'm good. Don't worry about it. I'm good. Mm. I'm good. I'm guaranteeing that the Browns would have had 16, quarter, 16 uh, coaches and changed so many of uh, their internal staff. They changed their general manager. They changed their fucking – like, they changed mad shit all because motherfuckers see dollar signs instead of thinking logically. Like, yo, like Josh McDaniels, like I said, I can, I can, I commend him. He thought logically. Oh, Andrew Luck not 100% yet? No? Mm-hmm. I was only going there because he was supposed to be 100%. Y'all, y'all tell me he not 100%. Oh, nah. Never mind. No. 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 Y'all Ooh, go get some Go get some other yeah, and that and that's, Yo, just, he, that's just my assumption on it. You feel me? But, that that got to be it, though. But like you said, that's how it needs to be. Because at the end of the day, we, we all know it's about bread, but it's ain't about getting that ring, too. Yeah. yeah. You you Think want the money. It. You want to provide for your family, but you also want the, the golden, want the ring. bragging rights of the Wait. whole year. Like Think the Eagles got it. the bragging rights. Motherfucker, yeah, but, we got the ring. But check this out, though. He was winning with the Patriots. Now, don't you think eventually you, wouldn't you want to have the opportunity to be your own head coach of your own team and possibly you win, win and get your own? Like that <laughs> yeah. shit. You seen, feel yeah, like? but he's seen a liability, bro. He's seen a liability. Like that's dude. what I'm saying. Exactly. Like, wait, that's like Andrew like, Luck is a good quarterback, shit. nice team. Yeah. He got some nice components. Something had to be wrong, and I feel like it's yeah. Andrew Luck. He's not coming along right. Because think yeah, about it, if he that, knew he could win been. and bring his special sauce there and make that shit work. Bruh, this shit, like, I don't see him t- saying no. The Colts and is one Andrew of the organizations Luck, that are rock with you. To, to be honest, Andrew Luck has better weapons than Tom Brady. Yeah. Tom Brady has one weapon. Tom Brady has Gronk. That's it. Everybody Two else weapons. is a conditional piece. Two weapons. No, Tom, Tom no. Brady has Every, actually three. Who? He has Belichick and Tom Brady. 
<laughs> Say that shit. Say that okay. shit again. Okay. Okay. Say that shit again. Belichick, Tom Brady, and then you have Gronk. That's that's it. You know what I'm saying? At that's least all you need. Has <laughs> yeah. That fucking need. Yeah. That's, that's not all you need. Apparently, that shit that's, like it's listen, like yeah, it's lightweight. Yeah. <laughs> like that's all you it. need. The <laughs> Eagles prove that that is not all you need. My nigga, not, yeah. it's they, not no come on, really? Back. Really, they, son? Really? Yo, you really gonna take it there, Jones? You I'm drinking really the Kool Aid today? There? No, nah, I'm not drinking the Kool Aid. I'm, gonna, I'm being we move serious. On. You drinking the Kool Aid right okay. now? Okay. Yeah, he's drinking it real. Yeah. The Eagles show that over the years. Yes, the Patriots are still dominant. Regardless, they lost nah, the game. Lost wait, the game. But wait, the Eagles, wait, Mac. the Eagles show that they can. I they know, can be beaten with their weapons. Wait, no, he went to with that Eagles parade and got turned out. That's what happened. Somebody gave him a funny me. cheesecake. He, he, smoked gave him him a a he smoked that horse Listen, shit, son. You want to know what's crazy? I didn't even eat shit when I got down there. I brought my own shit. I wasn't beat for nobody because I knew they was going drugs. I, niggas was getting high in the street. Niggas was taking pills. I was seeing mad shit that I'm like, yo, this this ain't my way. This ain't my. This is not my scene, bro. Yeah, this is not my scene. Yeah. <laughs> you you on, had, man. yo, you had niggas, I mean, like, playing guitar with other niggas. It ain't penises, my nigga. Like, nigg- niggas what? was hanging upside down. Like, Hold up. no bullshit, what? bro. Like, I'm like, bro, no. He is our no. senior no. analyst. No. Our senior, no. most seasoned analyst. And all no. things fuck shit fuckery related. Word, so, of course, bro. you would be there, boots to the ground, live and direct for <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> it's not even that. It's just I went for support of my, my boy. The yeah, you ain't man. Support, man. Right. Man, I ain't no judge and you ain't on trial. You good. Let's, you <laughs> right. That, 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 that ain't my shit, though. <laughs> next on Roll Up a Hole Up, Donald Trump is set to end the New Jersey food stamp program and to replace it with New Jersey food boxes. Uh, hold the fuck up, because I read this shit, son. New Jersey I, food boxes? Yo, hold up. You got to know what's in the food boxes, though, Jones. I, I don't. It's all American I, I want, made. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Every, Before you say it, it's American made. <laughs> yes. Hey, yes. Yes, it is American made, number one. He's right. You're getting canned beef, canned chicken, canned pork, some oatmeal, a box of cheese. A block of cheese, government cheese, old school style. And this is all in a box. Oh, yeah. And, and my you're veg- oh, no, my fault. And you're getting vegetable fruit. You're getting vegetables and fruit all in cans, bro. Everything canned, son. That's what you get, my man. Dick. Yo, son, so if you on welfare, that's your new diet, B. Big suck my dick, a little racist motherfucker. That racist is hell. Big suck my dick. This racist motherfucker. That's, that's exactly what I got to say. To him. He said that shit my racist is racist as hell. I just, yo, I just laughed so hard I got lightheaded, son. Oh, he said that shit. shit. That food box racist. <laughs> racist as hell, bro. Everything. Hold up, but no. All black but people. Time out. Yeah. But hold up, but time out, yo. Hey yo, yo Jones, but no up, no up. When when he announced this shit, he made it seem like niggas was getting gourmet food, bro. Like exactly. you getting shit I, I know he did. On some, I know on he some did. blue apron shit. You getting oh, everything fresh. Oh, you know what you're gonna get? You're gonna uh, you're gonna get fresh chicken. You're gonna get fresh yes. fresh beef. Fresh fresh Can. vegetables, boots, and, all made in and, America. And, and you getting that and you know juice, you're that chicken cheese juice. juice. Yes. All in the can. All in a can. You, you get, you get, of a you get that you cheese and don't burn. It turns the plastic. <laughs> you know what I'm Listen, my nigga, shout out to my nigga Trump, man. Shout out to my nigga Trump. Say that 10 that's times. That's your nigga? Say, look, that's his nigga. That's wait, his wait, nigga wait. right there. I'm going to keep it G with you. I fuck with Trump, but Trump a, Trump a there's, thug, a big son. But. there's a big but. <laughs> there's a reason why I say I fuck with Trump because I'm, I'm, I'm reading this book right now. And I don't fuck with him on anything political. Everything he's doing is a scumbag, and I agree. That shit is racist. But, but business-wise, the nigga's a genius. Business-wise? Yo, this nigga's a fucking genius, man. Yes, oh, yeah, business-wise. Like I respect him business-wise. Bruh. I'm not talking about him business-wise. We ain't had many billionaire presidents. Yo, me? but think about it. Everything he's doing right now is business-oriented as a president. But he's just doing it He's doing it as if it's his business. You know what? But it's but it's a racist way of doing it, and that's what I don't understand. Like this man is making like enemies out of everybody and their mama. 
Hey, your son, nah, dude. It's not your son. Every your son. Don't just say it's a racist thing, son. TV is a team like that. This nigga don't give a fuck about nobody. <laughs> yo, them, yo, them kid, yo, that shooting that went that happened down in Florida. Check this out. Them kids had a um, they it, it had a, they had a, like the little um, the memorial and the funeral. You know where Trump was at? Trump was a couple miles away playing golf. Mind you, them kids that got shot were white. They weren't just black kids. They were they were Caucasian kids. He don't give a shit about nobody, bro. I understand. So it ain't, I'm not it talking ain't, about it ain't, it ain't it racist. Just, it's just him being racist against black people. I'm talking about this food box shit. This food box shit is racist. Though. As much as you don't want to like. This is racist. This is nothing about racist than that. That's all racist. Like, there's a whole racial path to that. Nigga, y'all getting fresh canned food. All black people don't eat shit in cans, my nigga. Hold up, That's time nothing about racist, dog. Hold up, but hold yeah. up, hold up. Hold up, they giving out, he giving out the, the, the food box, and that means he's cutting your money, bro. He's not just cutting your food yeah. stamps. He's yeah, he cutting cut your everything. money not, and your food stamps, son. Listen, I'm, I'm not on welfare. I don't I don't understand the projects of that, but you know what I mean? For those who are on welfare, I know they feel like this is Listen, stupid. Listen, my nigga, I've been trying to be get on fucking welfare for fucking years, and they keep denying me. I don't yeah, know no, what I the know. fuck I'm doing wrong. They denying me, too. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Y'all niggas, no, I'm, I'm saying this shit with anger. I'm not saying this shit with no fuck. My nigga, I no, want I two to three hundred a month. I'm, I'm I can use call. that like, for fucking food. I'm on a real two call. to three hundred? Bro, that my shit is gold the in the hood. You feel me, bro? This shit is <laughs> yeah. crazy right here, man. I'm not trying. Like, I can't oh. be in the back. They're playing music. Yo, son. I you back gotta mute mic. that, baby. Oh, shit. But yeah, fuck. like, son, I, 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 could, I could use that fucking snap card. They keep denying a nigga. I don't know what the fuck to do. I, I can't get the shit right. I can't get it for more than fucking six weeks without getting that shit cut off. So you know what? I just so gave up. I yeah, that snap card, that shit about to not exist real soon. <laughs> you feel me? So that shit, anyway, and check this shit. I hate paying cash for fucking food because I see niggas walk in there and rack up, bruh. And I be in yeah, there jelly, bro. bruh. I be like, yo. I just want all the healthy shit and y'all niggas buying all, 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 all this kill me food. You getting all just the Pepperidge me... Farm shit, yeah, all the Barks bro. Root Beer, three <laughs> orange juices, all real the motherfucking shit. ham hocks and shit. Yeah. Like, god damn. Like, I, just want all the I just want all the vegetables, B. That's all I want. You and y'all know what I mean? I'm trying to live right. Y'all niggas trying to kill yourself off this free, free food stamp shit. Man. Like, and I ain't even gonna hold you. I, I want some food stamps too. I told my girl, I was like, yo, maybe when we move, we probably get that shit down in another state, bro, because I ain't trying to pay all this money for food. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bruh, bruh, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Real Wait, shit? When, niggas, when niggas who pay for fucking food cash monthly Yo, over son. years Bro, get shit, jealous son. of people with food stamps you know it's a problem bro no shit this shit ain't ain't right. niggas be coming out here like 300 400 dollars worth of food and shit and they still got at least 500 dollars worth of food stamps left Fuck bro, out of here. I spend, nigga. Bro, I spend 300 dollars worth of food on cash that should be feeling like that should don't even feel like a lot no, no. Does, yo, that shit don't come, even feel yo, like back, a lot. Yo, your, your, your fridge still look like, hmm, it's me. Son, son, you could drop 250 shit, cash, bro. and that shit don't even feel, that shit don't even put a dent in that shit, bruh. Real I'm talk, like, yo. I'm like, lying, yo. Bro. Bruh, like, I'm telling you, like, niggas really jelly at them food stamp niggas, bruh. But look, next on the roll up a whole up, Fergie singing the All-Star Game Anthem. Man, roll Yo, that shit up. Man. Roll up, because you know what? She really sat here and tried to make it seem like she did her best when we know that she did. She just sounded hey, horrible. Sir, you, you know she what I feel up. like I was... Hey, yo, I, I know what I was watching. I don't know if I was watching a Hey, Mr. President or <laughs> <laughs> or just, this bitch is just terrible. I no, I know that nah, she, she, she was terrible right there. Or, she was well, terrible like right this. there. Carl Lewis still holds the record. So unless she beats that. Oh, she's going to beat it with all about. the memes, with all the memes nah, that they're making and all the videos they remixing don't know about it Carl Lewis. Until the young niggas pull that Carl Lewis shit, man, they going to start. They going to be like, I don't know, man. It's going to be hard to beat. It's going to be hard. <laughs> Bruh, when the shit's so bad, you got to say this shit's going to be hard to beat. Yes, yeah, son. You went, you went in the bag real quick, son. You just went in the oh, bag, damn. bro. 
You, went, you went down in the back. Wait, this like, shit's <laughs> hard to beat. <laughs> oh, damn. I ain't know it was that bad. That's a, hey, uh, that's a stretch, son. That's a stretch. Yo, back real, shit, this shit's bad. But nigga, this shit's bad. <laughs> but look, like we're going to let Fergie oh, Lewis, live. Because I don't think she topped him. But, you know, we're going to go oh, on to my nigga Quincy Jones. Exposing Yo. everybody in his interview. Hold up. Hold the fuck up on that one. Time out. Time, matter of fact, you start it off, Piff. Just start it off, man. This nigga Quincy, man. He so first Damn. off, he calling him Michael Jackson a thief. Word. He said he really? laying pipe to, to Donald Trump's daughter. Um, I believe it. You know what I mean? There's a lot of, there's a lot of there's a lot more nuances in between to really touch he on, said, but just man, he said Richard Pryor was Gay. Well, he, he didn't. He, yeah, I, I'm gonna put it he like did, this. Son. He said, he did, he "Yo, did. man, he's, you know, he said he said Marlon Brando dick them all." Hey, yeah, I'm not agreeing with none of this. All I'm, all I'm saying is, I'm gonna put it like this. We might need a, a special podcast just to really dive into the interview because it's, it's a really yeah. a well, a well written interview and it gets real deep. But oh, to, to just to real, cap on it, like. Uh, Bro, he, uh, he went off. But put it like this: he went off for no apparent reason. But if you dig deeper, he has a documentary coming out, I think, on Netflix. And this is just makes perfect for a promotion. Yes, perfect promotion. Yeah. Yeah. Because people who read this interview and they hear this documentary is coming, they're going to see if he's going to spill the juicy details in there as well. And you're going to be cling for all episodes. How many is going to be? So this is just brilliance for him. Netflix. PR promotion at its fucking finest. So, you know, I salute them there. But when we comes down to this interview, I honestly feel we should probably break this down in detail on a separate yeah. cast. But yeah. He, he, yeah. he went in, man. I, I honestly feel like a lot of shit he shouldn't have went in on because a lot of people yeah. weren't here to really defend themselves because they're just no longer with us. But it's just Especially like, yo, you feel me? Well, but the thing, that, but the thing that's crazy though, from what I've been hearing through several outlets, why I feel we need a separate cast, is that I don't feel it's it's only slanderous because we're hearing it now. But the truth be told, a lot of people are saying this wasn't he he wasn't really lying. Like that's why I feel that uh, we need a cast for it because they, people were saying Ringo Starr wasn't a good drummer. You know, the Beatles' original oh, yeah. drummer was better, and they yeah, did say it, and Richard Pryor did admit to having encounters with his sexuality in his stand-up. I remember watching that. The f I forgot the sure. name of it. I was a nigger, yeah, or yeah. I forgot where he set himself on fire. That whole was, shit. I, no, no, but, that was Sunset. I think it was, it was sunset. sunset. But you know, he did say was, that, and and then as far yeah. as with Michael Jackson. Um, as a musician myself, I know all artists steal. It's like there's nothing wrong with it. Great artists steal. Like you, you get inspired. You hear dope shit. You want to make dope shit. It, that's just but how it this works. This is my thing. This is my thing, though, Mister Quincy. Why are you not telling on yourself, though? Oh, he did. You know, he said, um, Miss Miss Um Miss on the Trump low low. Got some, you know, nah, but, um, he know he know he he told he told on himself with the Marlon Brando thing too though, saying he was like that. The dude, what what did he say? He was like he was a he's a charming guy. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, Piff, Piff. Yeah. I'm just saying, Piff. Yo, if you ever in your life in an interview say, yo, you know, Max a charming guy. I'm gonna come out my grave and smack the shit out your ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, well, lie, he, huh? like, yo, Wait, I'm nah, not saying right. no. He, he, I'm not he, saying those grown man away. is charming, son. That, that's like what what what's they say? Like calling a nigga delicious. Fuck, I'm calling yeah, nah, another nah, man nah, nah. delicious. No, you're <laughs> absolutely right. But when you when you when you when you dig into it, it's like it only makes a good setup for the documentary. And yes. now I just want to know how what's he gonna lay out and how deep is he gonna go? Because if he's just gonna scratch the surface, you know, you faking the funk for nothing. You gotta yeah. go all the way in, and you gotta spill. Oh, we want to know everything about Michael. You feel mm -hmm. me? We want to know how much did he steal? How much did you feel me? All that shit. But you know, hey, I heard, I, hey, I heard Quincy stole a couple of things from Michael, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Listen, yeah. Look, we 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 going we gonna segue that wild shit into the wild out topics of the fucking day. Facts. And you know, we 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 got some shit here, man. And um, I'm we got a few wild out topics, but I'm only gonna do two. 
right. And I'm going to start with this one. We're going to start. And and the wildlife topics is how we end the show. And and granted, I hate. they're, They're getting better, but they're getting worse. But at the same time, they're wild. So I don't know how to really grade something that's wild. <laughs> you feel me? So, but we're going to we're going to put it like this though. Uh this this is some funny shit. So down in Charlotte, father father daughter couple charged after having baby together. Whoa, 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 whoa. What wow. the fuck? Let's 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 in Nightingale, North Carolina. North Carolina man and his daughter has been charged with a pregnancy incest after having a baby while planning to get married. This bruh, wild ain't even a word. Stephen Pal- Pallad and I know I, Stephen Pallad, age forty-two. I know it. Caucus Mountain. And and, and Katie Pallad, twenty. So he's twenty-two years older than his daughter. Were arrested in Nightingale home on January twenty-seventh, according to the arrest warrant. Katie was legally adopted out of state when she was born. When she turned 18, she reached out to Stephen and her mother through social media in August of 2016. She moved in with her biological parents and their two children. Stephen and his wife legally separated in November 2016. The warrant stated, uh, in 2016, the warrant state. Wait, the Warren states, this is weird. The people need to fix their grammar. The wife told investigators that Stephen had been sleeping in the floor of Katie's bedroom. The wife also said that she learned her daughter was pregnant last May and he w- and that Stephen was the father after reaching after reading on of the daughter's journal. Wow. So the mother what? finds the daughter's journal, reads this shit. Part of my grammar, this shit's all over the place. And then finds out that she's pregnant. And then the pregnant daughter, the fucking father is the fucking father. This is it's redundant because it's fucking, it's, it shouldn't happen. Your father shouldn't be the baby father. But this is wild. But She's the father and the grandfather. And the, the son is the son and the grandson at the same time. Yo, that's crazy, man. Crazy is, bro. But we, no need to go any deeper. But, bro, you're 22 years older than your daughter that you put up for adoption 20 fucking years ago. And then you fucking decide out of pure brilliance that you're going to fall for her w- while you're living with your wife that you made her with. You're going to fucking sleep. You're going to cheat on your wife with your daughter and get your daughter pregnant in the same house with your wife. And this is the fuck shit we talk about. Yeah, that's disgusting, bro. I knew it was from the Caucasus Mountains, yo. I knew it. This this the fuck shit we're talking about. I fucking about right knew here. it, bro. Ugh. But but the next topic, I gotta put my phone down for this. The next topic's been all over the fucking news. And you know we're gonna save this for last. And it's a very heartbreaking thing. And for those of you out there old enough to understand where some of us may be coming from, myself, maybe even Mac, if you could relate, and possibly Jones. And I only say that because those of us old enough to remember Columbine, remember yeah, the sick. I remember I was in eighth grade, bro. You feel me? That yeah, happens in this world. And the sickness that could happen to students and the sickness that could really destroy a person when depression and just all types of outside sources when you don't get the right help. And I, I'm not making any excuses for this guy because clearly he went in there doing what he did and he did it with an intent and he did it and he made sure he did it and got away. <sighs> Basically, there's just so many things that's there's so many things to this story that just makes it so crazy. For one um, where he's at in Florida, he legally bought the gun. That gun store is now closed. For two, his mother passes away. You move into your friend's family. Your friend's family brings you in with open arms due to the situation, knowing that your mother passed. And then you bring a gun. They they let that shit come. No, you know that should have been an instant no fly zone. But okay. you're depressed and you have a gun. And then you go shoot the school up. And now they've been housing you throughout this time of need and now you put them through under such backlash such scrutiny that they this is hard for them to even manage on their day-to-day and now you being a young child at your age 
taking the lives of other young children and now being a young child positioned to have your entire life ruined. This mm. is this is sad on so many ways. I would normally shit on the kid, but I'm going to be straight with you. I feel bad because I feel in situations like this, or at least in places like this, you in any school, doesn't even matter. I'm not even going to segregate it to white because the moment a black kid shoots the school up, you know, it, it, we I already see what the headlines is going to look like. But the point is, is like, yo, it, Marshall, it, it's uh, like, you get what I'm saying? I'm going to sit on that one. It, it's, you need you need psychiatric court. You need quarterly psychiatric evaluations. Guiding counselors need to be playing a more prominent role. Parents definitely need to play. I blame the parents. I blame the gun score. I blame the school. I blame the kid. I blame everyone. I blame everyone. Yeah. I blame but, everyone in this. But, but, hey, yo, everyone yeah. deserves blame. I'm trying to, you know, have you like, have you noticed something? All right, it's 2017, right? No, 2018. My apologies. Yo, this shit been happening since we were like in the, in the eighth, eighth grade. If I was in the eighth, you had to be like, yeah, like eighth, seventh, eighth yeah, grade. Yeah. That, yeah, so that's like 99. So for basically 19 years, this shit has been happening. Think about it. It's, it, it. It was an ongoing thing. You have the Columbine, the, the Columbine thing. You remember the thing that happened at V Tech, and then you had the of of the schools that was happening. It was just consistent, consistent, consistent. Yo, know, it, it's. I don't want to say it's a conspiracy or anything like that, but what's really going on that? It, and it's always, it's always a school. Yeah. It's always a freaking but, school, bro. But the thing is, is that bullying, depression. Like, I'm going to be honest, this shit is real, man. I've never been depressed. I've never been, like, a bully. But I've seen people depressed and been bullied. And I've been yeah. you know, granted. And I'm, I'm, and I'm glad that I've never been, like, in that situation. I've had hard times coming up in school. And we I'm pretty all sure have, we all, man, we you all, know? We all, we all had that one bully or that one or two bully that, that, that thought something was going to happen. You didn't want to be the one to bring harm, but you had to. Like, yeah, it, no, I, I don't... absolutely. And, and now, granted, I say that because that just only makes us tougher and gives us thicker skin. And exactly. now I say that because when I look at shit now, it's like, you know, honestly, I don't think I would have made it out, made it through school without some. And granted, when I say I had rough times, it's like, you know, it was it was peachy keen for the most part. But, you know, like there's it's an urban environment. There's always going to be like you said, there's always going to be knuckleheads. There's always yeah. going to be. Excuse me. And and now granted, they and there's indirect shit too. You know, there's shit that may not like it may not be say like a bully, but something may happen in the school that may affect you in the way you go to school and that right. might change your you feel me? And that's yeah. and that shit's and that shit might change like like I could go I could go on for days, but the point is like you said, whether it's bullying, whether it's depression, whether it's girls. You get what I'm saying? Like this shit—it's all types of levels, man. Like you it feel is. me? Like all his friends could have been getting pussy. He could have not been getting pussy. You feel me? And then you might have been getting bullied, and then bullied for not getting pussy, and then yeah. you're depressed because your mom died. Then now, and wait, then you add that up. You see why a quarterly psychiatric evaluation is needed, or a guidance yeah. counselor, or a parent, or a parenting system, or guardians who care to see how you're going through, or how you're reacting to your day to day, or how your school is, like how that shit really matters. <clears throat> But you know like, what that but you know what, dude? That goes back to how I feel about just school in general. I feel that school is just uh it's it's a PG thirteen prison. Real shit, bro. Cause at the end of the day, they don't really give a shit about these kids. Yo, you know how much you know how much shit that I've seen just it's just me being in high school and and like they brush it un, under the um the table instead of just prime example, you know, you had you had kids sell drugs in school, shit like that. Instead of yeah. instead of you going to the kid trying to get this kid help understanding why he's selling drugs. The first thing you do, you call in, you call in whatever, whatever township um, police department and you get a kid arrested just because you look at him as a delinquent. You're not looking at him as a, as a kid that has issues or has a problem or I'm trying to find a method to his madness. Like it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't matter what, what type of area or what type of demo the demographic that we're in. It's all the same, bro. It, it, it really is. You know, and it's sad. Yeah. Like I, I, could, sad, I, I, I could say this, like I know an instance in high school that 
I know for a fact that changed my outlook. And it wasn't like, say, with a bullying, but like I said, it happened in the school and it changed the way. Now, granted, niggas wanted to fight. They went to the fucking bathroom and they, they, they duked it out. Niggas yeah, got uh, knocked out, uh, slumped out, and had to get wheeled out in the fucking stretcher. Now, true. The reason why that affected me at that point in time, I'm going to be honest. I've never seen niggas really settle, settle a duke like, yo, we're going to go square up in here, a closed environment. We're going to do that. You feel me? And we're going to settle this shit just like that. Bang. And granted, at that point in time, I'm going to be keeping it all the way. G. niggas was like, yo, in the classroom, open space, you know, all that. Nah, that shit was like on some boxing shit. You yeah. like, that's, the, that's the best way I'm trying to really paraphrase it. So I'm like, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. And, and now, and when you see people paraphrase it like, like that, it's like, all right. Now it's like you know what it's hitting for. I'm like, okay, bet. And then in, and on the inverse, if people try to come crazy, be like, yo, bro, this is what it's hitting for. So you could either be on the receiving or the giving end of that. And now mm-hmm. when you and now that when that precedence is set, everyone, you get what I'm saying? Like everyone knows what it is now once that precedence is set. Facts. Now, granted, yeah. and, and and that's basically what I'm trying to say. It wasn't even the act of them in the bathroom or whatever the case is. Is that once that precedent or the law is like, yo, we got a problem. This is what it's this hitting for. Gonna, this is how we're going to handle this shit. You get what I'm and, saying? And, and now, done. that that changes everything, you feel me? And that's, once that's the precedent the for the land, school, bro. you feel Wait, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? The law of the land. And now it's like, all right, bet. Ain't no, you feel me? You, feel, if you, you, you could turn up if you want, but that's not going to be in your best interest. Your best interest is to come into the bathroom and square up. You feel me? Shoot this fair one. You feel yeah, me? <laughs> you're right, man. Because cause real shit. And, and that demographic of people out there, like what happened with that shooting, you know how many teachers walk the halls and they see the type of bullying that goes on towards the, the, the wrong type of kids? And they look at it as, oh, as only one way for me to handle it. Now he's going off and he's just lighting up the whole school like it's 4th of July. And right. now they're looking at it as, oh, I don't know what happened. Why would he do this? Motherfucker, you know why. The reason you was um, throwing a blind eye towards what was going on. Like you said earlier, Piff, everybody's to blame in that situation. Yeah. Every single Every person is to blame. The person, the, the fucking jock that that that's seeing somebody bullying him, the the yeah. guidance counselor that Wait, that's the just FBI. Bullying. They said they yeah. was on his list and for some shit like this or whatever the case years ago, months ago. Point point to be said is it's like yo, people like my whole thing is is that when the nigga shoots the school, and this is the this is the funny part, not funny in any part of like laughing like haha funny. It's yeah. funny. When I say funny, I mean it in the sense of that when the nigga who finally goes snaps and shoots the school up, he's like, oh, snap. So it's never like, oh, snap. That nigga Piff just snapped and just shot. I, I, I knew something was up with Piff. No, it's the nigga that you was like, what's up with this nigga? He's always by himself. He's uh-huh. listening to this hardcore rock music. He's always on these crazy chat boards. He's hanging out with these weirdo kids. He dress weird. Like, and granted, mm-hmm. this is how bullying starts. And I'm not picking on anybody and I'm not trying to single anyone out. But the point is, these flags have already been flown. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like the cr- yeah. like when you when when this shit like when shit's about to hit the fan, the, these flags are already flown. Like people already know, like, all right, the reason people aren't hanging with them is not because you you're not cool, it's because you're not you're not right. If you weren't weird, like, I'm think sorry about for it. laughing, but that's some real shit, though. <laughs> real shit. Not real, real you look, shit. You, you look at that nigga, he a couple sandwiches short of a picnic basket. The fuck's Yo, going on? Like, he's, he's, not, he's not all there. That's why we're not hanging with you. It's yeah. not because you're fucking like you're not cool and shit. Nigga, your energy is the, off, bro. You feel me? Even <laughs> geeks have people to relate to. Hey, you like Hell computers yeah. and shit? Yeah, I like computers. Feel me? Everyone has something to relate to. It's just that you, your shit was just all, was too far off the beaten end for us to anybody to fuck with. Uh huh. But you know, that that's just that for what it is, bro. But, bro, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna leave it there, man. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give it too much, but you know, we had to touch on everything, and this was a fucking wild ass week weekend and fucking recap. Indeed, we're gonna, indeed it we're was. gonna break this up and spread this cast throughout the whole week. We're trying Facts. to get another cast going. If we don't get another cast this week, we're gonna have a special 
guest fill of the week next week, and I can promise you that we're gonna get Quest, we're gonna get Cleachy, we're gonna get um pro- hopefully names. So we're gonna, mm, get, some, we're gonna yeah. get some guys up here, man. We're gonna get some people up here. Yeah, the guy, my guy, names. <laughs> and hopefully we can get TG to come back. But um, let's see what we could do. But until then, bro, this is Sir Piffery Goods. Uh, you can find me at Piff Beast on Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. To the left of me, Sir Mac Amazing. Tell them where they can find you, sir. Yo, again, hit me up on Twitter, VSF underscore MAC, and on IG, M period, A-M-A-Y-Z-N. Holla at me. Y'all have a good night. And King Jones, if you're still there, brother, please talk to the people. Tell them where they can find you, sir. I guess my sir is not a... Uh. He, he, he got must have us on mute, but you can wait, find him. Yeah. Oh, there you, you can go. find me at King Jones underscore four six four at Twitter. I love you, man. Sorry, the work killing me right now. I ain't mad at you, but man. I'll be you on the next man one. Getting that bread, bro. Yeah. You know, we ain't never mad at a black man getting them checks, baby. Do what you gotta do. Stack that bread. Get out of there. So you all be known. So you know. But. This is what it is. Until next time, guys. We appreciate all y'all checking in for the smoke cast, man. We out. Peace.